Hi guys, uh, welcome back to another Christmas special. Uh, this week we are going to be making uh, gingerbread, the classic gingerbread. Um, just similar to last week and a pre the other previous weeks, um, just so you familiarise yourself. Uh, you all each have a recipe card in your cookery packs. Uh, it has a list of the ingredients in there um, and the equipment. You just need to make sure that you have all your ingredients and your equipment at, at home before you start. Uh, it just makes your life way easier. Um, so we'll just crack straight on with it. Um, first off, I'm going to start with uh, the boiling of uh, the sugar, butter and the golden syrup. We need to make that into a uh, melted down syrup just so we can add it through our gingerbread. So I'll crack straight on with that. So first thing is the sugar. Brown, brown sugar, and we've got some butter, and we've got our golden syrup. So that's just going to go on a low heat until it's all melted, and then we're going to bring it up to the boil just so that it starts to thicken a little bit, and then we're going to leave it to cool down for at least two to five minutes. In the meantime, while that's coming to the boil, we're just going to crack our egg and beat it and we're just going to add our ginger, our cinnamon and our bicarb to our flour. That's all incorporated in there. Next we're just going to beat our egg into this separate pot. Obviously if you've got separate pots at home make it makes your life easier as well like I say with the equipment. Just give that a quick light beat. Use a fork, a spoon. Fork is generally better. I'm just using a spoon because that's all I've got in front of me right now. So that's my egg beaten, that's my bicarb, my cinnamon and uh, ginger in my flour. And I'm just waiting for this to come to the boil now and melt down. So once this is all melted down, I'm just going to bring it off and leave it to chill for two to five minutes before adding it to my flour mixture. Obviously if we added that too hot, it would uh, curdle our egg, which would make our mix uh, inedible, we wouldn't be able to use it, we'd have to start again. So just to minimise that risk, don't pour that in red hot, because you will uh, cook your egg, which is what we don't want. Right guys, that's now boiling now, uh, slowly. So I'm just gonna let that boil for two minutes, just to kind of crystallise a little bit more, and reduce some of that liquid off. And I'm just going to leave it then to chill for two minutes before adding it to my flour. Right guys, now my mixture's been chilling for about two to five minutes. I'm just going to add it into my uh, flour mix. So first off, add that mix. Obviously, don't add your mix when it's absolutely ready because you've got to get your hands in there so it will be hot. So. I've let it cool down so it's actually manageable with my own hands. So just mixing it through the flour at the moment. Obviously the flour will take some of the heat out as well. So I'm just mixing that through. Then I'm gonna add my egg. Egg in. That mix through. Once you've mixed as much as you possibly can through with the actual spoon, you actually can get your hands in there. So soon I'm going to get my hands in there. Mix as much of that flour as I possibly can. Right, I'm actually going to throw this out to the table now and I'm going to knead it. All that onto the table. working it softly. Just don't have to be rough with it, just be gentle. Just trying to incorporate all that flour. It will be quite sticky. So you just gotta show who who's boss to the gingerbread. It should start to come together.
grabbing all that stuff from the table. Keep kneading it till it goes smooth. It will feel quite sharp at the moment because there's just still some of that flour that needs to get incorporated into the gingerbread. There's no specific method, just, just throwing it, rolling it around on the table till it's all smooth on the outside. You don't need to knead it like you're kneading bread because you're not trying to get any glue and worked in there. You're just mixing it together. See how I've got a bit of flour still left in there? That just needs to be fully incorporated. Right guys, once you're at that stage there, I'm just going to flatten it out. I'm just going to roll it in a bit of cling film. And then it's going to go into the fridge or freezer. If you want to go in the fridge, that'll be a longer process, so it'll just require about half an hour in the fridge, whereas it'll take probably about 15 minutes in the freezer. So we cover it with cling film. Flatten out a bit more, just so it cools down quicker. And then that's just going to go into the fr into my fridge for about 30 minutes to an hour, just so it, that butter and egg and stuff in there, it sets quite hard. So I'm just going to pop that in there now. Right guys, now my uh, gingerbread has been in the fridge chilling for 10 to 15 minutes, it's quite hard now. So what I'm going to do there <clears throat> is just work the gingerbread back to a consistency where we can actually roll it. So I'm going to break it up, I'm just going to work it a couple of for a couple of minutes in hand. It will be quite stiff. It will come together. Again, just got to keep working it. So, get it into a ball. Sprinkle in a flour on your table. Light dusting. Press it down. Just a gentle dusting over there, and then put some over your rolling pin. Just gently roll it out, turn as you go. You want to roll it out to about a centimetre and a half thick, depending on how thick you are. They will rise in the oven because they have got the bicarb in there, so they will probably double in size anyway. So if you, if you do think it is quite thin, it will double, or should do, if you've put that bicarb in there. So I'm going to call it at that for me, because I like quite thick gingerbread. So all nice and evenly, just checking round the sides, making sure there's no fat bits anywhere. More good. You all will need your own cutters at, at home as well. You don't have to use a gingerbread mould. I mean, I am because I've got one. Um, you can just use, you could make a gingerbread biscuit um, with, a, with a round ring, uh, obviously a more traditional one with a gingerbread ring, so you will also need a tray with a uh, parchment on, so pop that to the side there, I'm just going to pop these onto there, so get as many as you possibly can. Obviously you can roll that up again, but I'm not going to because obviously I've incorporated some flour in there, so that's all that's going to do is dry that mix out and it's going to become very hard if I use that, so my preference is I ain't going to use that. So once you've stamped them all out guys, just, what we're going to do is we're going to pop them onto our trays, like so. Leave enough gap between each of them because they will, they will grow in size. And 
And all I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to chuck them in the fridge for about five to ten minutes just to firm up again because I've obviously softened them out again, so I don't want them to kind of melt when they go into the oven. So I'm just going to firm them back up in the fridge for about ten minutes, five to ten minutes, and then I'm going to bring it out and I'm going to cook them at 108 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes. So guys, my gingerbread has uh, cooked. It's a nice golden brown colour. It's uh, quite hard, it's quite firm up like gingerbread you, you want gingerbread to do. Um, it's also been cooling for about 20 minutes or so as well, so we, I can actually start decorating mine now. So once yours have cooked, take them out, leave them to cool down for about 20 minutes or so. If you take them off the tray, they will cool down a lot faster. Um, and then you can start decorating. So I am actually gonna uh, decorate three of these. So I'm gonna choose my best three uh, and then I'm gonna decorate them. There we go. Put them to the side and I'm gonna decorate these three. So traditionally you decorate them with uh, royal icing. Uh, today I've got some white chocolate I'm gonna use. Uh, so first off, I'm just going to create the eyes, quite big eyes, and then just a nice smile there. Two little buttons. What you can do is you can leave one like that. Another one. You can get some Smarties, you could use Smarties on there, I'm just putting some buttons on there for you. And the last one, you can go to town really, you could, you could put a little bow tie on him. Some buttons. Hey, do whatever you want. You can put, you can put a little coat on there, all sorts. So that's my gingerbread, guys. I'm just going to lay them up on that there. That, present them. And that's your gingerbread. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's session. Um, gingerbread's one of my favourite Christmas uh, Christmas snacks. Uh, my mum makes them a lot at Christmas, he usually makes a gingerbread house um, and we have a lot of fun with that so I hope you guys really enjoy um, making these, I know I do, uh, you can have a lot of fun with the decorating and I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas and I will see you next time, cheers guys!